Hi everyone, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. This is another Unreal Engine tutorial. This is a follow-up video from the how to create a side scroller template for Unreal Engine 5.2. That is a prerequisite to this video. You could go check that out first. Links in the description below. Starting from that base template, in this video we're going to learn how to fine-tune and fix the character turning animation and how to incorporate existing assets like Paragon characters and tweak their animation so they are facing the correct way. Let's go! Cool, so this is where we left off on that template. So if I play this project, my character moves sideways, only sideways, could jump on obstacles, and when it turns around, um, he runs to the other side. The questions that I got was how to make the, char the character not have this uh, animation when he's turning. So one thing you could do here is you could change the rotation rate. So if you open up the blueprint third person character and go on the character movement search for rotation rate and under the z axis if you change that to minus one and try this out and i hit play you would see there's no longer that animation it just snaps to turning to the other direction so this is one way to fix that or if you want to have the turning animation a better way is to go back here let's set that back to uh, maybe make it 600 to make it turn a little bit more faster so let me show you what i mean by the way so if i turn around like this it's facing the other direction instead of facing us in the camera so if you want to fix that you want it to turn and face the camera this is what you would do so go to this movement input for that third person and under here let me zoom a little bit so here disconnect this pin the return yaw so we don't want that uh, we want to set that to negative one so we don't want the get controllers rotation just make sure that get forward view is always negative one so if you do that and you hit play now when the character turns it's now facing the camera the camera when he turns no longer turning his back on us so that's how you would fix that. So now this template looks good. I'm going to save this. And I'm going to start using it for another project, which will start uh, incorporating some of those Paragon characters. So those Paragon characters have some funky animation when they turn or when you first play. So we're going to fix that. So I'm going to exit this. So on my Mac, what I want to do is I open up the Finder. Then go to the Unreal Projects directory and go to this uh, side scroller template that I did. So here what I do is I would duplicate this. So right click and choose duplicate. I would create a new copy. So you can do the same on Windows. Just create a new folder. And then this one rename it. So make sure that there's no spaces and everything. Um, so I'm just going to call it copy. Then rename the side controller dot u project as well to match that folder name so cool now i'm gonna double click this to open the project and let's quickly test it out so everything should be working as is so now i can start incorporating uh, adding some paragon assets so if you go to the marketplace and search for paragon you would find all of these characters so we're gonna try this paragon yin so if i click on this and just quickly search for that project YouTube side scroller copy add the project just gonna download and add this Paragonian character to my project cool now all done so open up the content drawer you would see that there's now a folder here called Paragonian and there's a character folder a heroes folder if you select in it has a bunch of stuff in here there's animation and then there's animation blueprint so we're gonna check those out so to swap out the third person template that we have go back to the third person bb third person character and go under mesh uh, let's also jump to the viewport and under the skeletal mesh here you could swap that out with the yin character so yin comes with three types this script this one 
as you can see it's pretty squash that's because it's trying to use some animation idle animation from the abb coin so we don't it's not um compatible so switch that out with the yin anim blueprint and once that's fixed that's looking much better you can swap out the skeletal mesh further so i'm gonna stick with uh skull this um skeletal mesh uh, let's play that out and I'll show you what the animation looks like. So we're just gonna do the tumbling, swipe this blade, look here, and immediately look at the back. So the reason it's doing that is because it's using some sort of blend space. So let's dig into that. Um, so if you select this, oh, let's stop it first. Select your mesh and anim class that we're using, go to that directory and open that up. And here you have all the different event graphs and um, animations that it has. So what we're interested in is the, let's open the anim graph. So just to see what is going on. So there's a base ground locomotion. And from that, there's also locomotion plus aim offset. So here you can see that there is a AO idle blend space and you're feeding it some yaw and pitch. So if I open this um, animation from the, oh, this blend space from the asset browser, we would see this graph. So basically this is a 2D graph. I'm just gonna pause this and then we're gonna play around with this. So this is a 2D um, uh, blend space. There's a pitch and there's a yaw. So pitch would look up and down. Yaw would look to the direction. So basically it's rotating so if i hit my command key here i think shift on windows and i start playing this around if i do this it's she's gonna look up if i do this she's gonna look down if i go to the left she's gonna look to the right if i look to the right here she's gonna look to the left as you can see it's swapping and she's gonna look up look down look up on the opposite direction so we, this is the reason when she lands she thinks that she needs to look at that direction so to fix this uh, the easiest that I found was simply drag this idle LC and move it all the way in the middle close to the middle so you can see now she's there's no looking to that direction anymore but the other one is still looking that direction so we need to fix that as well so drag that all the way there then compile, save, go back here, and let's test that out. Uh, slightly over, I did slightly over. Now she's looking a little bit here, but that's still fine. You could play around with those settings. So it's looking fine, looking fine. So this is this one's perfect. I think I nailed that pr properly. You can still see a little bit of her face, not just all hair. This one, you see a lot more hair. So if you tweak those, you'll be able to get a better animation when she's uh, turning. Instead of looking back, where you just see the back of the head. Cool. So most of those Paragon characters, they have the same kind of blend space. So you just tweak those blend space. Tweak those blend space and then you should be good to go. So those the idle, AO idle LC and AO idle, I think the other one's called RC. So you could just play around with those and move them around and that should fix the animation for you. Cool. So hope you like this tip. Follow me on Twitter at Olipsman. If you want to reach out, uh, cheers. Bye for now.